Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we're going to be taking a look at our add-on wooden side table for your Yakima open range camp kitchen system right here at eTrailer. So if you already have the Yakima Exo system with the open range or maybe you just have the open range base kit box and you did not get the deluxe version, you can pick and choose whichever add-ons you want. So this is gonna be the wooden table that works as a side table, which makes it very versatile when you use it with the open range. You can put it up, down, left, right, and you have some fun accessories you can use with it too. So we'll take a look at those features and see if that's what you wanna add on. So here we have our wooden table, which can be stored inside your open range, by the way. Check out the Deluxe Camp Kitchen for a view of how that works. With this, it's a UV treated wood, meaning it's UV resistant. So even if it's outside in the sun, it should hold up. Now, this bamboo is not food grade though. So if you wanna use it as a food prep station, make sure you use the included cutting board. The cutting board has a ridge here that fits perfectly into that cutout. In all four corners, you're gonna have this cutout. So this is held together by this knob and it has a screw bottom to hold it into place. This is designed to be used with your accessories that have that small hole that pops in there. So you can take it out if you want access to that hole or pop it right back in and make sure it's secured with that nut. So I have the baseboard organizer which came with the open range, not this table. What is included with the table though is this universal hook. So you can just clip that in, you then get a hook. That way if you wanna let's say carry around your lantern, maybe put your dish cloth in there, you can do so. So we have the cutting board, we have the hook, but we also have our sink or wash basin. So here we have it in our compressed form, so it adds about an inch of height. You can see it fits perfectly into that cutout. You also have the legs underneath if you want to fill this up with water and set this somewhere else. So this fits into that cutout and you just push down to open up that basin. So you have a good amount of space in here, great for if you need to just fill it up with water to just help you do dishes. We have this rubberized interior just to help give you a little bit of grip and it's not all just sliding around. Then you have this rubber plug at the bottom. So let's pop this out and take a look on the inside. You can see how it's designed to work with this to seal out the water, but let's put it to, to the test. So if you go out camping or overlanding, this might look a little familiar to you. We're gonna have our water jug here with our water. And then we're gonna fill up the basin to see how watertight it is, as well as how easy it is to use. Now we're doing this in the studio, so I sure hope it holds that water well. So I poured about a gallon of water in there. So it's not full, but this is perfect for if you need to do dishes or wash something in the basin. I do like how well it held onto that water, except for underneath we do have a little bit of a drip. Nothing crazy, but not completely waterproof either. So you can drain this out if you want to. In fact, there's a short drain hose included with the Deluxe Camp Kitchen. I personally think it's just easier to pick up the entire basin and just toss it in the appropriate spot. So when you start installing your table, if you have the deluxe version and this already came with it, then you already have all the parts. If you're just adding this on, you are gonna have to switch out the hardware on your open range with, with the included hardware with the table, and then you have this rung. You get two rungs with each table. So you can choose to have one rung on one side, the other on the other. If you have both tables, you can completely fill this spot up with rungs on each side. On your table, you're already gonna have this hook all set up. All you need to do is rotate this bolt, and then once that's in the open position, you can then just rest it onto the rung, 
And then what I do from that point on is just tighten this down on both sides. I notice if you have it on the top shelf, you are limited to using the bottom rung just because of how high the table sits. But if you have it on its own leg kit or on the swing base or on something else, you could use the other rungs for adjusted height. So even the handle can serve as a mounting point. And here's the leg. So there's two knobs on it. The first knob is to get it lined up with your table. The second knob is to adjust the height. So first, get your table. There's a notch underneath. Line that up and slide it through. Twist the bottom part of the leg. That way you can slide up and down those notches. We're gonna go two seconds to the bottom, twist it back into, lock it into place, and tighten the knob back down. And then we're gonna adjust for the leg height. So twist that knob to loosen, turn that bottom leg, and now you can slide it up and down for different height. We're gonna bring this to the bottom, since we have a tall vehicle, and tighten that knob back down once it's in its notch. So for measurements of the table, for length, it's gonna be 27 and a half inches. For width, it's gonna be 13 and a half inches. This will help you figure out as well if you have enough space for it beside your open range on your campsite. Now for taking it apart, once you have your accessories off, you just undo those knobs, lift it off of the rung, and then don't forget to take the leg off too. So fit the leg into the open range and fit this. Well, what I do actually is I put it on top of the goods just because I think it helps hold things in place. You can also use this kind of like a window. It just sits on to the open range. I try to like somehow get it into the top lip. And there you go, you have a little opening. It will possibly fall out as you open up the lid, but it's a nice little spot. And that was a look at the add-on wooden side table for your Yakima Open Range Camp Kitchen right here at E-Trailer. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoy the journey.